I've been sewing since I was eight years old, and I've had people asking me for years, did you make your clothes? Did you make your dress? Did you make your shirt? And I always have to tell them, no, I didn't. I almost never make my own clothes. The reasons I rarely make my own clothes are because it's just, it's not that cost effective. You're paying as much in materials as you would for a shirt that you could buy from H&M or Target. It's time consuming, and if it doesn't turn out right, then you've just wasted both your time and your money. And I've always had a problem, more than that, I've had a problem with being with lacking self-confidence. So I finish something and I wear it and I just don't feel like it is good enough or that it looks normal enough and I end up disappointed and discouraged and it's even longer before I try and make my own clothes again. But I've, realized that I've come to realize that there are ways in which making your own clothes can be a definitely superior. Um, you can use high quality fabrics, you can use the best construction techniques which the stores won't do. They will always give you the cheaper fabric and the cheaper construction method. You can tailor it to fit you perfectly. You can customize it so you know if, it, if it's a skirt that you want in the store but it's just barely too short or you're like I love that top but I hate the stupid trendy bell sleeves. I wish it didn't have that. You can completely customize what you make. And I've also come to realize it can be cost effective. It will never be cheaper to make your own clothes than it would be to shop at Target or on Amazon. But if you start looking at good quality clothes that are going to last you and come from good companies with good materials, if you look at a dress that costs $40 online, it's not really worth making because you're going to pay close to that in materials in most cases plus all of your time you might as well just you might as well just buy it at that point but if you start looking at the brands and you start looking at m more quality designer clothing and you start looking at $200 dresses and if you're me you're like that's a beautiful dress and I love it but I am not paying $200 for a dress so if you start if you start looking at it that way, making your own clothes can be extremely cost effective because you're getting you're getting 100% customized, tailored to fit you perfectly out of, for just the cost of materials. So I recently had an idea. I've struggled with I've struggled with making small projects. It's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to describe, but I like to tackle very intricate, detailed, time-consuming projects, but I've kind of, since I'm self-taught, I've kind of skipped over a lot of the the basic quality elements like making mock-ups and fitting and um, using interfacings and how to put in linings correctly. And the consequence of this is that I have many times made a very elaborate project with a lot of embroidery or beading on it and then when it comes to actually putting the dress together I don't do it right and uh, it'll turn out it'll turn out far worse than it could have if I had focused a bit more on the basics so I've set a challenge for myself and to try and keep myself accountable and actually make myself complete it I am submitting it to you the internet to your tender mercies and judgment and criticism and I am going to attempt to make during the month of September today is September 1st I'm going to attempt to make an entire capsule wardrobe from scratch because I've designed capsule wardrobes on Pinterest before and the problem with it is is you get everything laid out and all perfect and you have your tops and your jeans and you've got the color coordination and then you're like, great, where do I buy all of this? And the answer is because it's Pinterest, you usually can't. It's usually long sold out or was never available in the first place. And so you start looking for substitutions and eventually you maybe find three or four and you go ahead and buy them and then you give up or you lose interest or, you're, or you don't want to spend any more money. And so the capsule wardrobe, at least for me, has never worked out because I have never been able to do it all at once. So the idea with this is I want to design an entire capsule wardrobe. There's no limitations as far as finding things that are the right colors and that work together because I can just make them. 
So I want to design 15 pieces and attempt to make 15 pieces in 30 days. That is a piece every other day. That is probably not possible, but there are stakes in this for me because after I attempt to make them in 30 days, I'm going to wear only clothes that I made myself for the next 30 days, for the month of October. And if I, if I don't finish and if I give up or if I um, do a crappy job on some of them, I'm just going to have to put up with it and just wear them because that is, that is the stakes that I'm setting for myself. So if I can't figure out how to make blue jeans, I'm just not going to be able to wear blue jeans for a month. And I think that this is going to be a great learning experience. <laughs> So the point of making this public is to give myself some accountability to actually finish it and to keep people updated. I'm gonna go ahead and go over some of the designs I came up with, but during this month, I since I'm gonna be very busy sewing, I will film things, but I won't be making videos about them very often because that's just gonna cut into time too much. What I'll do instead is make kind of an overall progress report video once a week. So next Saturday, September 8th, I will give you an update and you can see how it's going. And then during the month of October, when I'm actually wearing these, I will catch up on making two videos and putting together the different outfits with it and showing you all that you can do. And as well as critiquing myself and ways that I, things that I did well and things that I didn't do well. And as far as just, I mean, wearing the clothes to see how well they wear and how well they hold up. And in, at the end of October, I will be able to decide whether it was a success and whether or not it is still practical and still, whether or not making your own clothes is still a realistic goal. I mean, I think it's an unrealistic goal, but that's the best kind of goal. So here we go. My capsule wardrobe will consist of 15 pieces. I'm gonna have two pairs of pants, two skirts, three dresses, five tops, and three sweaters. The first dress is a jumper made from navy wool with narrow window pane checks in yellow. The next dress is a v-neck shirt dress made from an orange fabric with an eye print that I'm going to design myself and print using spoon flower. The third dress will be a vintage style ditzy print dress. I'm also going to design the fabric for this one. It's going to be navy with a tiny acorn print. The third and final print I design will be for a chiffon miniskirt. It'll be a deep burgundy color with a yellow and green floral print. The second skirt will be a tweed midi skirt. I'm hoping to find a nice charcoal gray wool to use for this. For pants, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to have to learn how to make blue jeans. I'm hoping to use this as an opportunity to make them fit me well and to use a nice sturdy fabric that isn't going to rip through as fast as store-bought jeans. The second pair of pants will be a vintage style pair of slacks and a camel twill. I don't have any pants like this currently, but since the rest of the wardrobe is going to be fairly vintage, I feel like it will fit pretty well, so it's worth a shot. The first shirt will be a simple fitted black t-shirt with three-quarter length sleeves from a thinner knit. This is going to be pretty lightweight, versatile will go with everything, and good for the fall days where you need to layer because of unpredictable weather. The second shirt will be a mustard colored rib knit top. This one is also designed to go well with the other colors and to be good for layering. The third shirt will be a plaid shirt, possibly from flannel. The challenge here is to make it somewhat fitted because every plaid shirt I've ever bought has fitted me like a big potato sack. The fourth shirt will be a lightweight tank top. I want to use a nice white linen. I need to remember to make at least one very lightweight top because in the fall we still get random hot days and I'll find myself digging back through summer clothes. The fifth and final top will be a pin tuck blouse. I'm probably going to make it out of satin because I don't want to spring for silk right now and because I want it to be washable. This is kind of the holy grail of all vintage style capsule wardrobes. The first sweater I'm going to make will be a forest green button up cardigan. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to make this yet, but I'll figure that out later. The second layering piece will be a thickly knit burgundy sweater. Also not sure how I'm going to make this one yet. 
And the last layering piece won't be a sweater, but a blazer. I've never made one of these, but they're pretty classic pieces. You, it's hard to go wrong. I think I'm going to use a navy sateen and then use a contrast lining left over from one of the dress prints I designed. So there you have it. Stay tuned until next week and I will discuss the progress I've made.